They said I shouldn't feel how I feel about you They said I shouldn't wanna be around you They said we shouldn't be together or when it lasts forever Look baby, that's cap cause I'm only about you You used to call me on the cell phone telling me what you've been through Told me you can't wait no longer You even had this sudden ringtone Every time it rained, all I knew it was you by the song, girl Now everything is different and they wanna see us far but now we are What is up, Halo Army? It's your boy Milo, and today I'm pretty much just gonna talk to y'all. I'm gonna fill y'all in on a few things and just rant pretty much. Today is December 31st. It is 10 o'clock in the morning, December 31st. It is the final day of 2020. And as all of you know, 2020 has been an incredibly dreadful year. This entire year has been full of negativity, full of toxic behavior, and just unfortunate circumstances, bruh. Me of all people, Hazel of all people, we have been hit pretty hard this year. Um, that's on a bunch of different scales, not just mentally, not just financially, you know what I mean? Like, it's just been crazy, you feel me? This year in total has just been crazy. And I am excited for the new year. I am excited for new beginnings. A lot of people laugh at people that says that. A lot of people live with that mindset of you say that every single year what is gonna make this year any different ain't nobody ever been hit as hard as 2020 i don't want to veer off too much from the purpose i would like to keep this video short um first and foremost i want to say i need as many prayers as i can get for hazel and her family and their recovery hazel recently lost her aunt due to covid just yesterday morning she got a call saying she passed away she was extremely sick for an entire four days it just progressed really quick and then boom she's gone you know what I mean? With that being said, please pray for Hazel and her family's recovery. Right now, Hazel is in Chicago with her family. You know, just grieving, just getting through it together, pretty much. Hazel really wanted me to talk to y'all and express the severity of it because I didn't even believe it. I thought this all was a hoax. Obviously, you hear all of these people dying. You hear this, you hear that, you hear this. But it's the media, bruh. I feel like a lot of it was scripted. I'm just one of the guys that don't really trust the government. I don't want to get too off topic. We ain't talking about conspiracy theory. But pretty much, I was that guy. You know what I mean? I'm not even going to say I was. I'm still kind of that guy. I'm not going to believe everything that the media says. I'm not going to believe all of these statistics that I see on Instagram just because they're facts. But it is real. It is real, it is really killing people. I don't know how it took me now to see that. Before it was all uh, okay, babies, old people, people with immune disorders, with this, with that, but it's really happening to some healthy people. You feel me? It's really happening to some healthy people. And I really want y'all to keep that in mind when you're going out, when you're going to the store. Yesterday was my first day wearing the mask in the gym. You feel me? And it's like, I didn't even tell myself like, okay, wear the mask. I just found myself keeping it it on as I was walking into the gym because I usually take it off you know what I mean it's just it's just crazy it's just it's just crazy man it is real it's it's real I don't know what else I can I don't know what else I can say I really want y'all to be safe out here man I really want y'all to continue washing your hands consistently consistently and frequently with this being the last day of 2020 i am 100 percent certain that all of this chaos is about to roll into 2021 but the way i deal with it is about to be crazy bro me as an individual us as um us as a country i'm not expecting us to heal in the matter of one day i'm not expecting us to recover in the matter of that one day but me as an individual this whole year of 2020 has just been an eye opener it's just opened my eyes and really showed me the light in a lot of situations i feel like it really Really guided me to see the bigger purpose in life and before i thought it was okay um love be loved um be successful overall the main purpose of life is to just be happy you don't have to have money for that you don't have to be in a relationship for that you don't gotta have family for that that comes all within yourself i feel like the main key of happiness is just being happy with yourself and your current situation Never live with the mindset of what is tomorrow going to be. You got to ask yourself, what is today? Am I grateful for that? And the answer should always be yes. And there are people out here that lost their life, that loved life. You just cannot be that person that just don't love life because your current situation. You got to love life genuinely and always. Loving life and loving yourself has 
has to always be your number one priority. Always. If you don't love life, you will never be happy. If you don't love yourself, you will never be happy. If you are not grateful to be alive, you will never be happy, bro. Money is not going to bring you happiness. Love is not going to bring you happiness. Comfort is not going to bring you happiness. Security, not going to bring you happiness. If you are not happy within your own skin and within your current situation, which is being alive, that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to just say being alive. If you are not satisfied with being alive, you will never be happy. In all honesty, this could have been me. I could have been the one to get COVID and, you know what I mean? Because I... I wear my mask below my nose in stores. I don't wash my hands after I come in the house every single day. I may, I may use Germex. I may use hand sanitizer, but that's not always going to do it. I didn't really take it too serious. I took it serious for the safety and well-being of my, my girl and for my family. You know what I mean? But for myself, I had that mindset. I'm not going to get it. I'm healthy. I don't ever get sick. You know what I mean? This whole year, I got sick one time, and that was February when it all started. And... So this day, I am convinced that I had COVID. I guess that's probably why I'm so like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. Because I really feel like I have COVID. And if y'all remember back to February, I was literally deathly sick. Y'all did not see anything on camera, but I have never been that sick in my whole life. And everyone on our video was saying, oh, Milo, you got COVID. And this was when COVID was just in China. So I'm like, nah, I can't have COVID. What is COVID? At first, I didn't even know what it was. I came home from Miami and I was in the bed for a whole week i couldn't taste couldn't smell couldn't do this and i really do feel like that plays a huge part of why i've been so careless with myself you know what i mean um i need to stop because at the end of the day i don't know if that's what i had i could have just had a regular flu i could still be prone to getting it and getting extremely sick and i need to be more cautious with that like i said i wanted to keep this video super short so i'm not gonna keep on beating a horse i just really wanted to use our platform to share some like life is not about the things that we think it's about man I really want y'all to live every single day like it's your last. I want you to appreciate every single day like it's your last. If you got a call today saying you got one day to live, that day is going to be the craziest day of your life. It's going to be very emotional, but you're not going to sit on your butt and waste it, man. Do something that inspires you guys. Do something that motivates you guys. Do something that just makes you feel alive. I don't care what it is. As long as it is for the better cause, as long as it is to craft a better you, do it, man, because tomorrow's not promised. It certainly is not guaranteed. God forbid, knock on wood, please, but anything can happen to me on the way to, to get my Starbucks drink and get some food. I'm literally about to pray and ask God to keep me safe as soon as I get off this camera, man. Like I said, I want y'all to pray for Hazel and her family. Pray that they recover. Pray that they get through this as fluently as possible, as healthy as possible. We're just gonna pray for a better year, man. We're gonna continue to pray that things get better and we're gonna just continue to try to be the best version of ourselves, and you know what's crazy me and hazel we have these like little weekly not business meetings but we have these little sit down talks we'll sit down for like 30 minutes and just talk about things that we can do to be better that comes hand in hand with a lot of things how can we be better financially how can we save more money how can we be better in our relationship what can we do this month that we did not do last month to progress you know what i mean and we just had one of those talks setting our new year goals man like our 2021 goals and it's just crazy it's just crazy bro Bruh. Like not even a few hours later, she got this call, bro. I got like I got chills just saying this, bro, because anything can happen. Just pray, bro. Just pray. I love y'all so much, man. Please stay healthy. Please stay blessed. Please stay safe and continue to work on yourself. Like I said, man, do something today that can affect tomorrow. The last thing you want is for tomorrow to be exactly like today. Every single day, you want to see progression in yourself, man. It's just crazy, bro. I'm like so woke right now, bro. You do not understand. Like the past. I'm about to be a different monster, bro. I'm about to just end this video. Yeah, I love y'all, man. I love y'all so much. If I could actually sit down face to face with every single one of you guys and meet you on a personal level and actually grow that bond with y'all on a personal level, like I really would. If I could, man, I would. It does not change the fact, bro. I literally look at y'all as family. I just want y'all to be healthy. But with no further ado, take this stuff serious, man. Wear your mask if you go out and just, you know, just... Keep it in your mind that it can happen to anybody. Tomorrow's not promised and live like that. But yeah, as always, remember heaven had a little opportunity. So keep your halos and keep your head up, my G. Oh, yeah. They said I shouldn't feel how I feel about you. They said I shouldn't want to be around you. They said we shouldn't be together or when it lasts forever. Look, baby, that's cap because I'm only about you. You used to call me on the cell phone telling me what you've been through. Tell me you can't wait no longer. 
Even had this sudden ringtone Every time it rained, no, I knew it was you by the song, girl Now everything is different, now they wanna see us fall, but girl, we are